Heyo! It's the most humble show out and about on the town. Today we got Cletus. How's it going, everybody? Tell us something about yourself, Cletus. Uh, I'm a freshman here at Westchester and I'm having a great time here so far. It's a great area. Woo! <laughs> Tell us something that you, what do you like? I like winning game shows. Ah, this is a good, good time for you to be alive, young man. Today we got opportunity for win limited edition uh, shirt from my clothing line. It's tie-dye, which, you know, always in style. We've got drinks from Clean Cause, and we've got Bible trivia. You get 8 out of 10 correct to win a prize. <laughs> How fun is that? That's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Hey, you get it wrong, we laugh at you. <laughs> Not as fulfilling because we're outside, but normally inside. It's humiliating. It's terrible. All right, question one. I'm not done. I didn't ask him how much he knows on a scale of 1 to 10. How much do you know about the Bible scale of 1 to 10? I'll give it a solid 5. Okay. I like that, and that's probably the best way to start. According to the Apostle Paul, there is no what for those who are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. No fear of death. No pain and sorrow, or no sinful desire? I'm going to go fear and death. Woo! Condemnation. But hey, man, the fear of death, I'd give it to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you got to know the exact answer for this deal. So we'll just, we'll just start it off with a win. Let's do something different. Okay. According to the Proverbs, a good name is what? Better than great riches? Difficult to maintain the heritage of the Lord's children or its own reward? Can you repeat the answers, please? Yeah, I don't like that question. Moving on. I don't even know, dude. I don't feel comfortable. I can tell you you're, you got it wrong. You know what I mean? Tell you you got it wrong. I don't even know. Who built an ark to protect his family of seven? Sorry, his family. Seven of every clean animal and two of every unclean animal from a devastating worldwide flood. You probably didn't know that. Did you know that, Brian? Seven of every clean animal. Anyways, who did that, bro? I'm going to go Noah. Yeah. You sure you don't want to say Captain Kangaroo? <laughs> that was I have his number. That's what I have his number D here on the... Uh, we'll start off question one uh, being right. Uh, question one. We'll say that was one. Number two. What king's prayer added 15 years to his life? A. David. B. Hezekiah. C. Jehoshaphat. D. Ahaziah. I'm going to go A. David. No. 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 After the crucifixion, who asked Pilate for Jesus' body? Simon of Cyrene? Joseph of Arimathea? Mary of Magdala? Apollos of Alexandria? Apollos of Alexandria. No. 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 <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. According to the psalmist, God owns what on a thousand hills? The cellular phone towers, the cattle, the dwellings, or the oak trees? Now, God owns all of those, but you got to put yourself in the time period where he wrote it. The oak trees. No. The cattle. Yes! You thought I was pointing to cellular phone towers, huh? I did, I did. Hey, Brian is... Eager to get to church. What are the four Gospels? I'm not quite sure. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Man, you're still, you're still a great guy. Still a lot of fun. So fun to have you. What punishment did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego get for refuse to worship the golden image? Was it the lion's den, the fiery furnace, the gallows, or the bagpipes? The furnace. Yes. Wow, how does it feel? feels pretty amazing, I won't lie. All right, dude, let's just try to get two more before you leave. What led the wise men to the baby Jesus? North Star. Yes. Good, good. Which of the following was Abraham's wife? Winning streak if he gets another one. What was that question? Who was Abraham's wife? Rebecca. Try again. Mary Lincoln. <laughs> My man, not Mary Lincoln. She was depressed, though, and if you look it up, she was actually on opium. That's right. Abraham Lincoln's wife was on opium. In the Lord's Prayer, which phrase immediately follows our Father in Heaven? 
Repeat that again, sorry. How would be thy name? That's great. That's it. That's 10 questions. You didn't win, but we want to give you something anyway. So we gave you the energy drink. You can get hyped up for tomorrow. What size shirt do you wear? We're large. He w Brian, it's like it was supposed to be. It was, look at this. Are you going to rock this? Oh, absolutely. That is an awesome shirt. Thank you so much, bro. Hey, thank you guys. This is a great time. Tell them about That's perfect. Can they find you on Instagram? Me? Yeah. Cletus Maloney. That's it. Just That's it. Up. That's it. It's Cletus Maloney. Find us on Instagram, Cletus. Most humble show. Brian, give us a picture. Get a picture of me and Cletus here. Cletus, I got to go on. I got I to gotta go on to the next customer, the next listener. We appreciate awesome. you, though. Hey, man, being sincere is the most important thing. Following Jesus is the most important thing. Let us give you some tracks. Stay in touch. God bless. Awesome. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Most Humble Show. This is Steve Furman with Allied Mortgage Group. I'm a senior loan officer, and I've been with Allied Mortgage for over 18 years. If you're looking for a lender with low closing costs, low interest rates, and exceptional service, look no further. 856-371-9336. Again, 856-371-9336. Just ask for Steve, and we will go above and beyond helping you get approved to purchase your new home. NMLS number 199530. Again, just ask for Steve. We're always here to help and looking forward to speaking to you soon.